This is uh, Whitby on a blustery day. Uh, it's an acrylic painting um, on uh, an MDF panel. What I'm trying to achieve with a painting like this is maybe to recreate the kind of effects that you would get if you were really there on maybe a sort of a, an early summer day or maybe a, an early autumn day uh, when the wind is making the sea quite choppy and the clouds are sort of scudding across the sky. Seascapes like this tend to lend themselves to a long, thin format. So as you can see here, I've uh, chosen a long, thin uh, uh, piece of MDF panel. Um, also put the horizon quite low down on the, uh, on the uh, uh, painting to make more of a feature of the sky area. I enjoy sort of doing these clouds. I've done the clouds quite impressionistically, really. There's no, no real detail in those clouds. Uh, and in fact, they were done largely by using the side of a little piece of perspex that I've got as a palette knife. And you can see in these kind of areas here um, that I've really just used the side of the uh, sheet of perspex and applied it in one big uh, block of, of, of white paint there also enjoyed scraping it back a little bit, so if I zoom right in, you can see where I've scraped the paint back. Uh, so you can see a little bit of the paintwork underneath. And again here, just there. So I'm de deliberately not trying to put too much detail into the harbour walls here in the pier. Get them quite impressionistic. And I wanted to include some, uh, some people on the beach here, which gives a nice sense of scale and depth. And a compositional device there where I've sort of angled the line of the sea and put the people along that line. I'm hoping it sort of draws your eye along the painting to here. And maybe it creates a little bit of a zigzag uh, in the composition. And then that's the eye out up here, or perhaps in this direction here. It's an old technique that artists have used for a long time, just to guide the eye as it comes in. And finally, just wanted to finish it off by putting the moon high up above there. I don't know actually if the moon does appear in that part of the sky in the real Whitby. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But I just felt that as a whole, as a composition, I was happy with that. So that's Whitby on the blustery day with showers.